too much because I didn't know what the bride and groom uh, were comfortable with me sharing already so I tried just to vlog very aesthetically pleasing little only uh, snippets of that and not like anything of the ceremony itself etc etc it's Sunday today Sunday means Training. Yeah, I'm so excited. Oh, I need this. I need this. My sunglasses. I need it. I need it. So I need to train, and then after I have to um, work. But there is like a, a vintage kilo sale, like five minutes from. Um, where I dance and I asked my mom if we if she wants to go this is not gonna work this is not gonna work okay hold on there we go so I asked my mom if she wanted to come with she said yeah sure so the tickets were only two euro um, so I got them yesterday in the car so that's what we're gonna do after Sorry, I probably won't look my best. Probably won't be all cute and dressed for the vintage sale, but I've like literally just came back from training then. So I'm not counting on it. In my room it's very hot because I slept with the hot and cool because I was freezing my tits off yesterday. Um so it is very hot in here, but outside very cold so um yeah that's a little bit no it's not fun so um also while I'm talking to you guys right now a little quick announcement I think you already like saw it from the title but today we have a little extra long vloggy because um Next week is my last week working at my current job, and then I'm switching jobs, um, which means I'll have to work more in the weekend. So now I usually edit on sat Saturday, but I'm switching that to the Monday because Monday, Tuesday, um, my new job is closed. So um, it will work better for me if I just edit Monday and then the vloggies are kind of come online on Tuesday so uh, I'm switching up the schedule a little bit but that's purely because that just that is just gonna work the best with my new job um, not any specific reason at all but that also makes my life a little bit easier you know so I'm gonna go to training <laughs> It is 
13 exactly wow um i was supposed to go to the gym today but when i woke up i just felt like my body needed to recover today from um from last weekend because <laughs> last weekend was rough so um i did not go to gym but i I am working still five hours today and what like thing I'm on today is still like pretty active like a lot of heavy loading stuff and all that thing so I guess I'll still be working out a little um, but um, I'm gonna scream something just came in the mail It is like torn up a bit, which is like really bad, but I already took a picture of it. So just in case it's like damaged, like, oh my God, this is 100% biodegradable. Oh my God, it's gonna make my heart warm. Oh my God, girl. Oh, I'm so glad that I got to receive it. Oh my god. Ow! They put stickers in it. Shut up. Shut up. They put stickers in it. This is. Oh, you can't really tell. This is so cool. This is a, such a cool sticker. Oh my god. Okay, receipt. Y'all, I'm gonna, uh, this thing, this sweater has been on my dream list forever. When I tell you guys forever, I mean like since probably 2020, probably since 2020, I think. Oh my god, I can't believe, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, so, it is the grey hoodie. Ah, oh, it's big too. I got an XL. Oh, she's huge. Oh, I love her though. Oh my god. It's so dope. It is so freaking dope. Oh God, I want to wear it right now, but I can't, but I want to. I like want to save it for like a good outfit. Oh my God, fuck it, I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> oh, it is such thick material too. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. It's so dope. Oh my God, it like falls perfect. <gasps> Yo, ah, this is so dope. Ah. Hello, hello, hello. I just came back from work. I showered. Oh, and I'm exhausted. But I, uh, I forgot to tell you guys. A few days ago, I finished my first book. Ah. Girl, this book has been cray cray. I think I want to read it again or like a few chapters I want to read it again and just like mark some things I want to remember but this book has been insane I'll give you guys a quick review it is a Dutch book I actually don't know if she made it in English I actually don't know this book is about living a lighter life gave me a lot of tips and a lot of insights um she tells about her own personal stories and how she navigated through them and honestly this has been such an amazing book that i like can't even like fathom the words for it it made me realize that 
my ego has been leading my whole entire life because as I said in last vloggy in the last um, video is that ego is not something that is just ego testicle that's not about it's obviously a part but it's not all about only putting yourself at number one your ego is also like the small little voice that says oh we can lay in bed for a few more minutes oh it doesn't matter if we don't follow our diet today it doesn't matter if we don't do these certain exercises today it's fine your ego is really comfortable where it is right now so this book made me realize that my ego has been ruling my whole entire life and that I've only been listening to my ego and not what I truly wanted to do. Um, your ego makes you also lazy, like that type of stuff. Uh, your ego holds you back from doing certain things. Your ego is just, your, it's just a scared voice. So it also made me realize, and I knew this before, but it like really set in with this book is that I do self-sabotage a lot because I'm an overthinker and by overthinking and oversharing I just ruin it all basically um, so now I'm reading the book um, You, The Mountain Is You I think it's about self-sabotage so I'm already learning a lot like a lot like it's crazy such beautiful things like how to switch from a negative mindset, um, how to find out what gives you energy. Um, there's also like a part, I don't want to spoil everything, of course, but there's also a part in this that makes you find your life, um, your life's mission, which is really cool. And then there are also just some exercises that really made me stop and think about certain thinking patterns. For example, there was one um, little segment, little uh, challenge that I uh, had to do. Um, and it, well, this obviously is a book for everyone, but it basically said, like, pay all your bills, like, right away. I obviously don't have bills, but I did have, like, a few people that still, that I still needed to pay back. So when I got cashed out, the first thing I did was pay those people back and it honestly was really nice it was like oh I don't need to be so uh about money and it also made me realize that um everything is everything is in like I can't find the English word for it but everything is there's enough of everything there's enough of love there's enough of a lot enough enough of money like you don't need to worry about it it will all be fine at the end and you just need to like detach from some of like the stuff that like all you need to like get rid of all of this clingy stuff to like live a lighter life so i'm probably gonna read this book again Maybe after my 75 heart, I don't remember because I do love this book. And I um, still want to mark some few things in here, especially in the beginning because I didn't have any markers then yet. But my new book that I'm reading is also very good. So I'm also excited about that. I thought I'd give you a quick review um, about the book. I'm really excited. I really, really, really recommend this book. Um, I'll give you a review when I finish my next book. So, this is pretty cool. Oh my god. Good morning, good morning. It is very early in the morning. Um, me and my mom are going to the gym right now. Um, before I have to work, because I have to work at 10. It is now, I think, 7.50-ish. So, we are gonna go in a few minutes. Um... It is early in the morning, so I'm freaking hoping that it's a little bit more column in the gym. I think maybe, actually don't know, but I think I'm going to train as and legs today, but I don't know if that's a small idea. 
one, I'm on my period, and two, tomorrow. Two, tomorrow, I am gonna use my legs a lot. So maybe I'll train my legs Thursday. Or maybe I will today. I honestly don't know. Because I go to gym every single day beforehand. I just go, mm, what do I want to train today? Otherwise I can train it tomorrow. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I'll see you in the gym, hopefully. Well, big shocker. I did not film in the gym. It was still like... I don't know how freaking early or how late I have to go for it to be like vlogger friendly like calm because well I get not everyone wants to be on camera so it's really hard to um you know keep track of that all but it's fine um today I didn't have to work very long which was actually very nice um because I was home pretty early and then uh, I took a shower. I sent some of my vintage packages away um, because they are going really fast. Like, it's actually insane how fast they're going. Um, I just cleaned up my room a little bit. Um, I had some freshly washed clothes that I had to put away and then still some things that I had to throw away. I do need to vacuum. Okay. We have like vacuums everywhere. Like everywhere in the house. Because my mom, she works for Dyson. So we have like a bajillion Dyson vacuums. And then we also... <laughs> And they're both in my room, which is really funny. But we have the humidifier and then the hot and cool also. What else do we have, girl? At this point, I don't know anymore. We have uh, the big ball, which is like a vacuum with still the um, cord attached to it. Um, then we have another one. I think this is the V10. Then we have another one downstairs. And then two two new ones came in today i'll show you downstairs and then also the dyson zone came in i don't know if y'all know what that is but i'll show you in a second it's like the um the headphones with like the filter in front of your mouth i'll show you in a second it's like right downstairs and we also have the air Red, the corral the supersonic honestly pretty nice if your mom works for dyson not gonna lie not gonna lie now don't think that my mom gets everything for free just because she works for Dyson. She works for Dyson from home. She needs them to like demonstrate if a client asks for it. Because she works um, like through the Dyson chat. So if you're in Holland and you chat with Dyson, maybe you'll chat with my mom. I don't know. So. I'll go downstairs, I'll show you guys, it's really funny. Okay, so, there's obviously like a science behind it. Mom, wait, I'd like on the vlog here. Okay, so my mom's busy, so I'll try, like half explain it, I actually don't know, so. Please don't quote me on this, okay? It has like, <laughs> this futuristic, like this is the case it comes in, you turn it, and then, oh, I hope it not gonna like fall out this is her so this is the, the headphone itself crazy like oh my god so in I believe in <laughs> here are like filters in this thing um, well it's obviously headphone it goes on your head um, we have a charger and a cleaner with it as well, and then <coughs> the transformation part comes with it. So this is like the filtration system, I guess. Filtration system, which clicks on the headphone. So this is her. She like comes out a little bit. And then 
she like I can't see hold on oh she like she clicks on oh 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 she immediately starts filtering oh my god so what this thing does it's like grabbing air from outside through here and then blowing it into my well, you're creating like a bubble around your head like fresh air so there doesn't come any viruses you're you're just have this clean um purified air bubble around your head so that um i've heard somewhere that this is really good for like places with high um Pollution, that's the word I was looking for. So like New York, you know, with the orange sky, all those TikToks, it's pretty good for this. I think this will also be pretty good for where we always are because the city that's closest to us um, is the highest, oh my God, I just forgot. I just said the word. It's the highest pollu pollutionized city in the Netherlands. So that's great. Um, uh, <laughs> This is cray cray. I wanna listen to some music, please. We're gonna turn. Doet hij door lekker? Hoor je mijn muziek? Okay, new thing I'm trying out this, um, well, actually month, I was going to say this week, but actually this month is I'm going to try <clears throat> my best. Um, I started my period today, actually. I started my period today, and I want to start to eat for my cycle. So I did a little, just a small tad bit of research. I'm going to do some more upstairs. But, um... I did just do a little bit of research about what fruits I should eat um, in what phase of my cycle. So because so because I am menstruating right now, it is important for me to eat um, healthy fats, warm foods, um, rich in omega three. And then some other stuff as well, I can't remember. But I just made some overnight oats, which I can uh, reheat. So tomorrow in my break, I'm gonna reheat them. I'm just grabbing. Um, there are also some chia seeds in there and some um, hemp seeds, which hemp seeds are a really good natural source of protein. And, um, Cheese seeds are really nice healthy fats. I actually really love cheese seeds, so it's not that big of a deal. Sometimes cheese seeds can be like a little bit of a texture issue for some people. Not for me. Not for me at all, actually. I am... Because I usually, in my um, oatmeals and in my like yogurts, and even in my smoothie bowls, I like to add a little bit of a crunch. So I just added a handful of some nuts and seeds into this bag. Um, you can't have more than a handful of nuts every single day. So I'm trying to keep that in mind. So that's why I've only put a handful in there. Seeds like sunflower and pumpkin seeds also very, also very healthy uh, fats. So that is my lunch. Ooh, oh my God, that shit just dropped everywhere. So that is my lunch um, for tomorrow. 
I'm probably gonna have to pack some dinner as well because I am working late or no I'm not working late I have to dance after um, so I'm probably gonna pack some leftovers from tonight so tonight we ate um, we ate Chipo, chipotle, I can't pronounce that either. I can't pronounce that in Dutch and in English, but chipotle um, chicken rice bowl, which is actually really nice. So, for my dinner, I'm probably gonna pack that because even if I can't like work uh, a little bit later, I am gonna sit in uh, my favorite coffee cafe and I'm gonna plan some things out. Why? Because I love to. Okay, I'm gonna pack that up and then I'll see you guys tomorrow probably. Hello, it's that time again. I'm walking to my gym. Uh, I have a bloody heart because this morning it was so freaking cold like actually insane so i decided to wear a hoodie and underneath it a long sleeve it's the dumbest idea ever Ugh. but i'm gonna go to the gym Ooh, someone's in a hurry i absolutely have no idea what i'm gonna train how long i'm gonna train just gonna go you know so my feet hurt because I started two hours early and I finished an hour later than I actually had to um, because they love me and they hate me. Of course, who doesn't? Oh Jesus, my headphones are almost empty. Um, but, oh. <laughs> mm. But I'm walking. I'm literally like so tired that I don't even have words to form right now. I'm gonna go to gym. I guess we'll see. I keep saying I'm gonna vlog in the gym, but it's honestly every time it's a little bit too busy. Maybe when I go to another gym sometime, I'll try and vlog in there. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. Pardon me. I had a really good gym sesh. I did, um, well, booty and legs, actually. But it was more um, upper legs focused because I'm noticing that when, oh God, this ankle is not pretty. I'm noticing that when I'm dancing, my like upper legs just give out. They're just like, no, don't feel like it anymore. Fuck you, and then they just give out. So I want to start training my upper legs like actually a lot more, so that I get strength and that I can do, um, you know, the choreography freaking right. I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna warm up my food. Then I'm gonna lay in my bed, watch a movie, and just zen. Cause that is what I want right now. That is what I want. Hey, that is what I want right now. That is what I want. That is what I want right now. That is what I want. Uh-uh. Okay, I'm pretty excited if you can tell. I'm gonna take a shower. And I'm gonna hit the hay. I'm gonna hit the hay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the hay. Hey, hey, hey. Hit the hay. Hey, hey, hey. Hit the hay. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> oh, good morning, good morning. Um, I'm just making my uh, lunch slash dinner because I have to dance tonight. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna. Oh wait, actually I can make, I'm going to make some oats for um, my first meal of the day. And then, girl, clothes. And then I have some snacky still. And then, oh my god, bitch. 
don't be so annoying today and then uh, oh and then i have some snackies girl this is not fun like actually just close like this is a really like handy thing but the freaking lids will never ever freaking close Oh, dit is even geleden mee door. Wow, wow, wow. Ik hoef niet alles te zien. <laughs> oh, dit is beter. Oké. Okay. Dit is beter. We zijn vandaag hier. Ja. Strijp weer. Ja, en we zijn um, lekker aan het drinken. Aan het terrassen. Het verschil mag er zijn. Ik mag nu in het Engels, hè? Kijk. Oh, de vlog is English. I'm sorry, guys. Um, anyways, we're on the, on the terrace. On the terrace. We're having a little drink together. A yeah. little drink. A Very little. little. <laughs> now, I'll show you the view. I will uh, show the view. <laughs> <laughs> Very aesthetic. Classic yeah. Oh, classic burger. And, uh, the burger. <laughs> yeah, on the vlog. Thank you. Oh, she's not well. Thank you. She's gonna <laughs> eat. And um, we're finally seeing each other again yeah. after a while. And yeah. Bye, transition. <laughs> hello, hello. Um, I'm now walking home from my little getaway with friends. Honestly, how perfect was today? I mean, I went to. I started my day off super early, which was like actually like really nice. I got my gym workout done. I had. Like a little mask. I read, I stickered my Disney book, which I was really excited for. Um, then I went out for some drinks. Honestly, today was the most perfect day ever. It also was taking me the F out how my friend kept talking Dutch to you guys when she knows the vloggies are in English now. It's really funny, but. Anyways, besides that, we had a lot of fun. We played some card games and then um, we all went together with the train to Eindhoven Central and from there me and my best friend took the same bus because we have the same bus. This cab is not really doing the lighting any good but um, it was really fun. We hadn't seen each other. What day is it today? The 30th. So. In a little over a month, we hadn't seen each other. The only time we saw each other was for a like coming back day. Um, I didn't have to attend, but I came anyway to tell them like I had a gap year and um, see them one last time together. So, and in between that, I like saw people loosely, like only apart, but. We hadn't been together in like the whole of the group in like more than a month. So it was honestly really nice to be with the five of us again. My my other best friend even surprised us. She was initially not supposed to come. Um, she had a party so she was like, 
I can't come, sorry. So we were like, oh, well, sure, well, then we're just going to go with four of us. So we weren't expecting her to come, and then all of a sudden she came, which was actually so cute and such a nice surprise. So it honestly felt really good to be with the five of us again. And now next month we have my Halloween party, and then the month... <laughs> The month after that, we've already also planned a little thing to do together, and now we're gonna do it in uh, during the day. So we're gonna do like a little activity, go kart. We already talked about, so it's gonna be fun to see what we're gonna do. Oh, good morning. Good morning. I don't know why it's not focusing on me. Focus on me. Um. Today is my first work in day at my new job. And I'm gonna pee my pants. Even though I was tired as shit yesterday, I still managed to prep it just like a little bit. Um, picked out an outfit, made some quick lunch that I can eat right after I'm done with the training. And I have some extra food. I got like just a really simple salad. I don't, I don't have to forget my perfume because I'm gonna stank. Hello, hello. I'm actually walking to the bus stop right now. But I got home so late yesterday that I just freaking sat down for two minutes. I took a shower and I was like, yo. I fell asleep because it was a very very freaking long day training was tough we finally finished the mix but it's like whew, she is hefty hefty um after i had my first working day it was so much fun i actually love it like i actually love being like busy 24 7 because see the thing with um Upper time, which today is my last day. <laughs> um, the thing with Upper time is if I am on like the cashier little area, sometimes we like basically have no clients or customers, like at all. So it can get really boring really fast if it's not super busy. So um, today, yesterday, it was a little bit more busy for a Sunday, they told me. Um, but you know, I was not running around, obviously. But um, I constantly had a lot to do. And I practiced like the little plate on my hand. And it was good. It was a very good day. It was a very fun day as well. So I'm excited to start working there. Um, yeah, I just got home pretty freaking late. That was the only downside so uh, tomorrow I work again and then today is my last day the contrast is crazy yesterday was my first day and then today is my last day <sighs> I have a little like going away party just a eeny meeny teeny weeny going away party and then I'm gonna get some stuff for that as well, but y'all will see what I get because I have no absolutely no idea what the fuck I'm gonna get. <laughs> Still clueless.
I've just come back from my last working day at the Albert Heijn. Today was a crazy emotional day. I actually did a lot. I worked from 10 till 5. And then um, I went to the gym really quickly. And then oh, I'm really tired. And then I had my little going away party. It was really small. There were only like six people, but it was really fun nonetheless. I got this freaking huge thing of like gifts and I've, I cried three times. One time actually in the store and then um, two times um, at the little party. I actually realized that in only like the one and a half years I've worked at the at the Albert Heijn, even though it's like a supermarket, I've made such deep connections with some people that I don't that I didn't even realize. I mean, I got speeches from people. I a lot of people knew it was my last day. I was getting hugs. I, the amount of times I've heard, "Oh my God, I'm gonna miss you so much." And even from the most unexpected people was like crazy. Like it was actually insane. I did not know. I created bonds with so many people over that short amount of time. So I'm really sad that I left. Um, but I'm really excited to start my new job. So it's a little bittersweet. Um, but I'm super grateful for the time I've spent working with all of my buddies and then this is so funny he my boss my boss and my best friend he made like a little red package for me and he <laughs> this man is not real we like devoured these these are so good there are still like a few in there i think i'll show you what was in the gift basket because they all have meaning. Oh, there are still quite a few. These are so good. Oh, my God. Um, he got me these just because they were red. I think I don't actually think that there's any meaning behind this. But this reminded him of our carpool rides. Because we always uh, were, well, there were a lot of very fun a loud singing carpool car rides in the time we've known each other. This I got myself, actually. Um, he gave me this. It's so dumb. He gave me shampoo, like color protectant shampoo. He just grabbed this because it was red. I can't, obviously can't use that on my hair. He got me this. I actually don't know why he got me this. Maybe I stink. Maybe he's trying to tell me that. Oh, he is such a legend. He got me protein and healthy chips because, you know, healthy lifestyle. Well, I have two little thingies. Then I have some shot glasses for my Halloween party. Um, some chocolates. I'm actually really excited to try these. So I'll try these on camera. I got a bell pepper because I'm living the healthy life. And then I got a chili, a red chili because I'm a spicy girl, apparently. Um, I got a letter L, a chocolate letter L because I'm leaving. Um, and then I got this, which says uh, you're being thanked or thank you. It's just like, this is a Tony Chocolani rape. Are you kidding me? These are so good. And then I got these from uh, also a friend who gave me the most beautiful unexpected speech, which, which made me like freaking ball. Like he made me cry, cry. It was so sweet and so unexpected. So it was a really nice way of closing this chapter and I will definitely be coming back for groceries and 
all that stuff and just honestly to chill if I have any. I'm gonna leave these downstairs. If I have any extra free time, I'm gonna sleep with these and I'm gonna put up the little smelly, the smell sticks, I think they are. <sighs> I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna hit the hay because tomorrow I have to work, so.